So now that we have program A all set up, we have stations one and two with run times, we have a start time, and we've chosen our water days for program A. That's all three ingredients. So we're going to go back up to the first ingredient, which is start time of the three, and we're going to hit the PRG program button over to program B. And that's going to carry through on all three ingredients. And we're going to give program B his first start time of 2 a.m. And we're going to hit the right arrow and also have program B cycle again at 4 a.m. So once we get the two start times in there for program B, we can switch to the runtime position. We're going to skip over station one because he's not invited. Use the right arrow to go to two, he's not invited. On the third station with the right arrow, program B is still showing you can give him 30 minutes. Use the right arrow, go to station four and give him 30 minutes also with the plus button. So now we've only invited stations three and four to program B. And we'll now go to water days position. And we've got seven days a week showing across the bottom. But we want program B to be in the interval mode. So we'll hit the left arrow and it shows a big number in the top of the screen. Use the plus button to go up to five, which means it's watering every five days on program B. And you'll see the letter B here still. So now B has all three ingredients also. When you're finished with B, put the dial back to the run position and you have two separate watering programs. So now that we have all of the programs A and B programmed here in the light blue area, we're going to work our way to the left in the dial, and the first position we come to is system off. Pretty straightforward, it means the controller is not going to irrigate until the switch is put back to the run position. You'll notice you get a sprinkler icon with a circle and a line through it, and the words off will appear. You can leave it like that, water will not turn on until the switch is put back to the run position and the current time is displayed. Now you're in auto mode and automatic irrigation will occur. As far as manual operation goes, there's two positions. The first one here is called manual one station, and it's just that, one station only. It's going to show station one to begin with, and you can use the right arrow to scroll to the desired station that you want to come on. Make sure it has some minutes in the runtime spot. If it does not, you can simply hit the plus button three or four or five, six times. And once you've got the desired station and the minutes in place, you can go back to the run position, and that zone will activate. When it does, don't be alarmed, but you will have a, a flashing sprinkler icon in the window stating that a system or a zone is running. You can let that count down, and when it's done, you're already in the run position. If you like to turn the water off before the allotted time has expired, simply go to the system off position. It'll say off, and return the dial back to the run position. Now that's manual one station. If you would like to do the entire program, you'll use the right arrow with the hand here above on the top right. You'll hold that button down and you'll see a program appear. You can change the program to programs B or C and then release the button and that program will start. And that program will consist of whatever stations have a runtime in the program, be it A, B, or C program. Once the first station starts, once again you'll see the flashing sprinkler icon that means water should be running somewhere for that station. While that's occurring, if you want to turn it off before the program is completed, simply go to system off like before, let it say off, and then go back to the run position. So the next position down here is solar sink settings. And that only refers to if you have a solar sink sensor hooked up to the X core. But we'll cover that information in another video. And the last setting down here is called season adjustment. Now season adjustment is going to come from the factory at 100%. And you notice that there's bars on the left hand side that correlate to the number in the screen. This is a broad brush setting that affects all the station's run times on every program. Now as you recall before we put in 10 minutes on station one. And if we go over here to season adjustment, we're at 100%. So let's say it's September or October and you've been doing a summer program all summer and you just want to back the water down some. You can use that 100% and you can go down to say 70%. And at 70%, if you go back and check your station runtime, that 10 minutes now turns into seven minutes. 
So this is a way for you to be able to adjust all the station run times at one pop. So back to season adjust, we can go reduce it down to 50%, and that would give us five minutes. We originally had 10 minutes at 100%. Or if you so chose, you can go up to 150% if you want to increase. Say it's springtime, and you don't want to mess with everybody, just go to season adjust to go from 100 to say 150. And now your 10 minutes turns into 15 minutes. And you can also go back down to 100%, which would be the original times that we'd put in. And you'll notice as you do your changes, these bars go up and down, and they kind of give you an idea where you're at percentage-wise. So that's season adjustment. So the last feature here on the front of the X-Core is the sensor bypass switch. It's fairly straightforward. It has two positions, active or bypass. In the bypass position, whatever rain sensor, mini click or rain click that you have hooked up, it's simply going to ignore the input from that sensor. So if you're not sure if your rain sensor is working and you, you just want to ignore it for now, go to sensor bypass. In the active position, that means it's going to honor the sensor input that's being given into the controller. So if you have a rain sensor and it rains and gets wet, it's going to shut the controller off and put it into sensor off mode. And no water will occur until that sensor dries out and sends the dry signal back to the controller. And when it's ready to irrigate, you'll see the current time in the screen. Um, on a solar sink sensor, by utilizing the active and bypass, that does not nullify the entire solar sink. It only cancels the rain click portion. The solar sink will continue to adjust the season adjust by percentage, even though you switch it in bypass because that only controls on solar sink, once again, just the rain sensor portion of it. So now that we've finished programming the X Core controller, it will come on on the days and times that you've indicated. If you intend to hook up a SolarSync sensor to the X Core, you can reference the X Core SolarSync programming video.